When we look at conventional textile printing, there's a lot of water involved in the process and a lot of wastewater is generated. When we do digital printing, the amount of water consumed is reduced uh, quite, a, quite a bit, but still, because of the machines use belt systems that require washing and, and um, some, some wastewater is generated. So that's what we're trying to eliminate. With Trappis, what we did is we removed the whole direct-to-print process and basically, as in dye sublimation, where a print is printed onto transfer paper and then transferred onto a textile, we have made the same system with a pigment ink. The benefit of that is in dye sublimation, you can only do this on polyester-based textiles, whereas with a pigment ink, we're actually able to do a transfer print process on any fiber type, natural fiber, blended fibers. How it works is, is pretty much the same as in dye sublimation. Um, we have a paper printer equipped with a special textile pigment ink equipped for the system. The Mimaki text called Paper, which is a paper specifically developed for this process. We print on it as in any transfer paper process. It goes into the calendar where it's transferred with a high pressure calendar onto uh, basically any kind of uh, fiber type. We're standing here in front of a, a calendar. This is the Cleaverick Vertex uh, model. Underneath here, I have my non-pretreated material, so there's no coating. It's just 100% cotton. Uh, basically what I'm doing, I have my printout here, put it upside down for my transfer, and I'm basically gonna push it in through the machine. Now we have to apply pressure. So now we're putting the, the walls down to get some pressure. Now normally, I have tension on this bar, so I could, I could take it a little bit to get it straight in the printer and, and get no wrinkles. Now we just have to wait. Here we have the actual uh, transfer paper. So this is what came off the printer. So you see there's no ink on or a little bit of residue of ink. And you know, the image is now transferred to the actual uh, cotton. Now the, the, the biggest concern what people have is the feeling, the touch, because we're not going inside the material, but we're going on top of the material. What you see when you feel this is really soft. So there's not like a, a plastic feeling, but it's like really soft. So that's the benefit of, uh, of the whole system. The easiness of the process and the fact that there's no water consumed basically allows this system to be used in any location, even places that have very tight environmental restrictions so that the production can happen a lot closer to the consumer, meaning the carbon emission from overseas transport can also be reduced. And altogether, we believe this can make a very big impact.